record to this computer. <clears throat> Rock and roll, good morning. Looks like everybody has their camera off except for me, so that's all right, no worries. We are all working from home during this time, and today's training, we will be covering MailChimp. If you have not worked with MailChimp in the past, I want you to, to go ahead and create an account with MailChimp. Again, we are recording this session. It will be uploaded to our new YouTube training channel, our YouTube tra yeah, tra training channel. So all of our recordings, all of our trainings moving forward will be there. So you can go through and look up anything that you need and be able to review it there. All right. <clears throat> so with that being said, we are going to, <clears throat> we're going to begin by sharing my screen. All right. And let's go ahead and start with this guy. There we go. Slide that out of the way. Rock and roll. So I want you all to go to MailChimp.com. You should have a cool looking cow there, maybe on yours. And you are going to go to where it says create an account. If you're taking notes, you're not on your computer, uh, be sure to take copious amounts of notes. You're going to go to create an account. Clicking here on create an account, you have to input the information that is requested. Your email, so you'll type in whatever your email is going to be there, your username, and then of course your password. All right, and so if you pretend to make a fake one here, I've already got one. All right. Username, let's call it Team Broden. Password, we'll call it. All right. And then down here at the bottom, it's going to say, I don't want to I do. <clears throat> I don't want to receive emails about MailChimp. So you can you can click that yes or no. Oh my bad, it didn't work because my um my password didn't have everything that it needed. I believe. Boom. Once your password is is set up that way, then you will go ahead and you will click the sign up button. And you want to follow the instructions there. Now, I've already got an account, so I'm not going to create a second account. But you all that are there, please hit the sign up now button. And you're just going to fill out the basic information. If there's anything that you have a question about, you can always make changes later. So feel free to go ahead, hit the sign up button. And then you're going to create your account there. Actually, I could probably delete an account. So let's just click um, this portion right here so I can show you guys what there it is. You're going to get an email to activate your account. Then you're going to have to go to your email to activate that account. All right. So you'll, if you, if you, if you know what that looks like, you go to your email. Oh, wrong one. Bad. These were already supposed to be logged in, but that's okay. Wait, I remember the password. Don't use this account. <laughs> Once this opens for us, you'll go here to your MailChimp. You should receive this in your email, MailChimp Client Services. You'll click that little guy right there. Eventually it will click. My computer's running a tad bit slow today. So please just, uh, just bear with us, okay? Nobody. See if we can refresh this for us. See if it'll pop us in. Hopefully that'll do the trick. There you go. 
And then from here, you will just simply hit activate account. Okay. Once you've activated your account, you say, I'm not a robot. Click this cool little tab right here. Running real slow today. Everybody's at home on their computers. Our internets are slow. Maybe yours is the same, hopefully not. All right, and then the question was asked, you know, what, what do you pay for? Is it free or not? You see the cool option right here, free. 2,000 contact maximums. You can have 2,000 contacts in your database that you can send this to, and it sends out, it says there, 10,000 email sends you can see, a month. All right, so you guys should be just fine, and you'll just hit the complete button right here. All right, you'll see little MailChimp's gonna pop up. You're gonna set up your account here. So you'll set up your account like so. Tell us about your business. You can say, let's say real estate agent if you want to. All right, if you have a website, you can put your website in. If you don't, you can hit continue. Uh, you all do have a website. That's your Century 21 website. You could use that one. Um, I don't have that with me right now, so we're just gonna skip it. Again, I already have an account set up. Uh, this is gonna be your address, which you wanna use. You may use your physical address. You may use the office address. Um, six two. Oh, continue that one there scrolling up do you have any contacts this is the point where it's going to it's going to prompt you where you can use a csv file to input those we're going to skip over this for you we're just going to say no for now um and then of course you can always add those later you're going to hit the continue button there uh what do you plan to offer you're going to choose what you want to put right there technology software original content blog video whatever maybe choose original content all right, we're going to be creating your own personal emails there, or rather newsletters there. So, or you could skip this whole portion. You see the skip option there as well. Do you sell things online? Uh, no. Want to stay in the loop with MailChimp? They can send you all types of stuff here. Subscribe to success. Optional, 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 optional. Skip all that if you want to and just hit let's go. Cool. And at this point, it will prompt you where you can start to set up and design emails. You can add, um, you can add uh, your contacts as well from this point as well. So we're not gonna set up a website, but you can design a, an email, all right? So if you hit design an email or, maybe I'll do this three, yeah, we'll just do it. Uh, We'll do this later, all right? Um, do this later, and just hit done there. All right, I'm good. All right, because I want to get you into the platform. All right, because you can do all of that, of course, later on. So now you're in the platform. You should have something that looks like this right here, all right? And let me just make sure I don't miss any of you guys. If you have any comments or anything, again, feel free to go ahead. You don't have to, if you want to, you can just unmute. If you have a question, go ahead and let me know. We can get that answered for you. All right. So here's the platform. This is what it looks like. You've created an account. You can go through and always tweak your accounts if you want to. Your information is going to be over here for your profile, for you to be able to make any changes or your account if you wanted to pay for, you know, uh, the services they offer, if you have more than 2,000 contacts that you input into your account. All right? Make sense? Now here, now what I want you to understand is where it says, uh, there's a couple tabs up here at the top. Create tab right here. This is where we're going to create the emails. You can do a lot of things with MailChimp. You can do a monthly email newsletter. That's what we're going to focus on. You can do ads. I recommend that you maybe will just stick with like your Facebook or your Instagram because it's easier to create those there than through here. All right, this is new with the website where you can create where it says content and market your channels on your website. You can create a landing page, you can create a survey, you can do social posts, you can do a sign up form. The sign up form is really cool if you already have like a website that you're currently using. 
because if someone comes to your website and they're scrolling through your website, it'll pop up and it'll tell them to sign up or subscribe to your newsletter or whatever it is that you're offering. I mean, you can do a ton of stuff. You can do giveaways and so on and so forth. We're not going to cover all of that today. There's just a lot that's built into this program, but uh, those are the options that are there. I would highly encourage you, of course, after we're done today, if you want more information, there's about, there's several, there's some new ones that they just came out with some tutorials that are on YouTube for MailChimp as well. So the 2021, uh, they had some from 2019, which is a little bit older. MailChimp tends to continually change like all, uh, all technology is continually changing, all platforms are changing. So just watch the most current one if you have any questions. There's some short ones, about 15 minutes to give you some basics. And then of course, there's some longer, like almost an hour long tutorials that'll walk you through some of the intricate details of MailChimp. So feel free to go ahead and, and check on those. All right, if you want some more, uh, some more information, if I'm not able to answer possibly a question for you. So that's where you get created. And we're gonna get into that shortly. Uh, campaigns, campaigns are gonna be what it is that you're sending out. And so we're gonna create some campaigns here. We're gonna go through that in a little bit. Uh, automate, we're gonna skip over the automate one for today where you created automated uh, campaigns. The audience is going to be your, your contacts, who you're sending this to. When you click on audience, you go to manage audience over here to your right hand side and they're called subscribers, okay? Your subscribers are those who are going to receive your email. So if you hit add a subscriber, you click on that one right there, you're gonna put some information in for those and you can add them in one at a time or again, you can import them through a CSV file if you already have a, uh, all that information in, in, uh, composed in your CRM. So you'll just simply put in uh, the ad, the, you can use your address. I'd start with your address there. So you can see what it's gonna look like when you send it to yourself. All right, you're gonna put in the first name. This is gonna be the same thing that you're gonna do for any of your contacts. And then you have the option, of course, to put in, of course, addresses, phone numbers, birthdays, any of that. But the thing that you wanna pay attention to is right down here at the bottom where it says, this person gave me permission to email them. You're not allowed to send emails unsolicited. All right, now MailChimp has a cool little thing where people can unsubscribe to it once they send, once you start sending it to them. So you wanna go ahead and make sure you check this box. If this person is already in my audience, update their profile, that's the option there. But this is what you wanna click. This person gave me permission. Anyone that you talk to, you say, hey guys, I'm sending you content. They say, yes, you can include them there. They have the option to unsubscribe, but that's what you wanna click right there. And then all you're gonna do is just hit the subscribe button right there. And then that's gonna be a new contact. And it says, of course, I already created myself here as a contact. A little oops there, but that's gonna be my, my contents. Um, view contacts under contact manager. And then I should be the only person here, all right? And then there I am, because I created, there I am. There's the one person, they're subscribed. I'm also telling me that I am the, the, the administrator of this. Everybody gets a rating. These take place for whether or not they open or, or whether or not they open your emails or not. If people don't open your emails, then you'll know. All right, who's opening them, who's not opening them, um, so on and so forth from the ratings that they'll get, they'll get as high as, uh, like I said, of course, a five-star rating there. So you can incorporate your, your contacts that way one at a time or you can import them through a CSV file when you go over here to import contacts. You go to import contacts, then at this point you can choose, if you have that CSV file, you can move forward with that and input them that way, copy and paste from a file, or if there's an integrated service that you are using, it shows you their Google Drive or one of the others, all right? So that's how you're gonna get your, con your, your, your um your contacts into MailChimp. So these are the very basics about getting started. What I really wanna spend our time on today is creating that newsletter, showing you where you can get some content to create it, and then showing you what we've created uh, for ourselves. Uh, it was the beginning of 2019 where we said, you know what, we need to create a newsletter. So often we see other agents out there that say they, they have a monthly newsletter, they have a monthly newsletter. It's like, well, let's do a monthly newsletter. How do we get it out? You know, the simplest, easiest way is email. Why? Because it's free, as opposed to sending it out um, with a stamp on there. That gets expensive at 55 cents a stamp when you're sending it out to several hundred people, quite possibly, right? So that's why we opted for, for this here version uh, of the newsletter, okay? 
So once you've got your audience all inputted and everyone's there, you're going to go to the Create tab. And under the Create tab, you're gonna click Email because this is what we're going to be creating is an email. So again, now is the perfect time for us to be reaching out to our clients via email because we can't do the normal door to door, we can't go face to face. Let's continue to make sure that we're touching our sphere in some way and there's no better way now than to create an email. So you're gonna create a campaign name. So you can just call this monthly mailer if you want to. All right, and then you're gonna hit the begin. There's the automated one here. This will send an automated email out uh, at a certain time every single month. You have to have the content already, of course, put together, uh, but that's what the option which is automated and in plain text, uh, we're not gonna get into that one today. All right, so those are your options. We're gonna stick with the regular for right now. You'll hit begin. And this is gonna open up the, the campaign builder. So you get to choose from here who's going to get these emails. So you're gonna to go to add recipients. And so whoever in your contacts is gonna be this. So you're gonna hit import contacts, whoever you've got there. I'm sorry, my bad, back it up. I don't have any contents to import. It's telling me I don't have anybody to send this to because there's no one in here but myself. All right. Cancel it out. What you would, what you would get on this screen, I don't know if I should go to my other one. Um, here, I'm just going to jump over here real quick to my other one because I've got some stuff that's already created and I want to show you what we've already created so you can get an idea of what that looks like. So we're actually going to, we're going to log out of this one that I just created and I'm going to actually go into the one that I use. All right, boom, here we go. So now when we go in here, we go to create, we go to email. All right, for me, um, hold on back. back out of that real quick. Go away, kid. Two campaigns. Because I've already created a campaign, what you were just doing was creating a campaign. I've already created a campaign. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually just take a peek, see at what these look like. Go to create a campaign, go to email. This is supposed to just pop right up. Oh, okay, I think I was calling. I was giving me a tad bit of an issue today. That's okay, we'll get through it. My bad, there it is, it's the brand. I've already created this, got my tabs mixed up a little bit. I've already created a campaign. When you create a campaign, it will prompt you to create a name for it. And then you'll of course add those uh, people that you're going to send it to. And I'm gonna show you all of that here in a, in a minute, but we're gonna go to templates real quick. Cause I want to get you into the building of the process. All right. And this is my guy right here where it is the real monthly is what we call it. Okay. This is the screen I was trying to get you to. All right. Is where you can actually create this email. All right. Give it a second to load and don't worry. I will take you back to that other screen cause I want to explain it to you. Um, but that's going to be for when it's ready, when you're ready to send it out. Okay. So don't worry. We're not gonna leave you guys hanging on that portion there. Here is what um, the screen I wanted to take you guys to is where you're gonna actually create your content. So in order for you to have got there where I am, you would have on the screen that you were just at, and my apologies, maybe this actually would have been better for you guys if I had, if I had done that for you. Let me go back here. I do wanna show you guys something. Again, if you get behind, let me know. I tend to talk really fast. You guys kind of know that who have worked with me in the past. I tend to talk a little fast. Skip through uh, where we were in the ad recipients. Yeah, this is what I want to do for you guys. Under the ad recipients portion, you can come back to that if you don't have anybody already there, but your contents are going to be there. Under the ad recipients portion, you're going to simply um, 
choose who you're going to send it to. From the from portion here, it's going to say, who is it coming from? Who is sending this campaign? So you're going to put your email address there so that they, so that it comes from, from you. Okay. So Lewis. All right. And then you can easily, of course, put your name right there as well. Oh, there we go. So Adavid is coming from my email, Adavid Lewis at Gmail. And you're going to just hit save. This is telling MailChimp where to send it from. So when it shows up in their inbox, it, they recognize your email address. So however you communicate with your clients, this is the way that you want to, you want to use that email address. You're going to go in here and create a subject. Okay. And when you create a subject, subjects are critical. So, you know, you don't want to call it monthly mailer. Right. You want to be specific to whatever it is that you're talking about in uh, your subject line. So it could be um, how to say, say, can't spell today, stay active at home. I don't know, right? How to stay active at home because we're dealing with all that we're dealing with here. This is a preview text here. If you wanted to have a snippet of what's going to be the content there, I typically don't use that portion, but you'll hit save. And that's going to be whatever the, that's going to be the subject line that they're going to see in their inbox coming from you, how to stay active at home. Then you're going to go to design email. All right. And here we go. Here's our template. So when you come in here to our templates, yeah, I'm glad I went this route because I would have lost you guys if I didn't go this way. There's a couple of different basics that are already there. And the one that I have found the most easy to use, it's cleanest to read, is the one column full width. One co there are now there's other ones. There's the one, two column. Um, again, the one that I have found is easiest to read. You can get a whole lot going on on a, con on a, on a page. Whichever one of these templates you use is totally up to you. So you just select one that you're going to use. I use the one column full width. And then this is going to take you back to that screen that I was already in. Okay. Now on here, there is nothing, right? But this is where you're going to start putting in everything. This is drag and drop. So it's very, I dare to say, it's very easy to use. All right. Because all you do is pick what you want to put in here. You drag it and you drop it. Now in the beginning, of course, you want your logo. So to work with any of these boxes, you've got a little edit guy right here. This right here will duplicate, make two of these boxes. And of course the trash can will delete this box. If I have a, just a logo here and I've got a text box here and I wanted to bring in an image, I could just pick the image like this and drag them in where I want them to be. And boom, now there's an option for an image. So I want to build this email, excuse me, and I want my logo. So I want my Century 21 logo. So what you're going to do is hit the edit button. So when you hit the edit button, it opens up this little dialog box or this, uh, this box over here. And then you have to click the replace button because there's nothing here. So when you click the replace button, it's got some stuff in. Now yours is most likely blank because you haven't put anything there. So if you want a Century 21 preferred logo, you will have to go to upload. And you should have one on your computer. If you don't have one on your computer, they are available. Uh, so 21 online, you can get them in there. You can ask uh, someone in the in the office. Maybe they can get one for you as well. Myself, we can email you a a, a, um, a logo. All right. So now that you've got a logo, and you would have uploaded your logo, you just select it. And then once you select that logo, all you have to do is just simply hit insert once it's uploaded. All right. And then boom, just like that, you've got your logo. So as you're creating this template, you'll hit the save and close. And of course there's styles and they're saying there's other things that you can do. So feel free to play around with those. As you're creating this email, there's the little preview tab at the top. So with the preview tab, you can always enter, enter rather the, the preview mode. And under the preview mode, it's going to show you what people are going to get. So currently right now, this is what they're going to get. This is the, 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 uh, the template that's being created. This shows you what it looks like on a desktop. This will show you what it's going to look like on a mobile device. And this tells you what it's going to look like when they open it up in their inbox. Okay. So it's inbox, you have to upgrade for that account. doesn't matter. Uh, again, desktop and mobile are going to be the main two that you're using. You want to make sure that it's mobile friendly because a lot of people are working there. Hit the little X in the top right hand corner and that'll jump you right out of it. Okay. Now we need some more content for your email. 
So because this is a monthly newsletter, right? Okay, now, as when I first started, I actually started typing articles. So like the first two or three months, I started typing articles because I needed content for my, for my email. And, you know, then I actually got subscribed to um, uh, one of the coaches that I use now. And the coach actually provided some content for me. So maybe you don't have a coach that's providing content for you, but you want to, you know, have a, a you want to have good content, but who has time to actually maybe create all this content? The wonderful thing is that Century 21 provides a huge database of information for you. And that information can be found in your 21 online. So we're going to jump into 21 online real quick. So I'm going to just screen. It's out of my way. Please go away. I can go back to work. Thank you. 21 online. So here at 21 online, in the top right hand corner where it says menu, you want to click the menu tab. All right. Under the menu tab, you want to scroll down to the productivity hub. So under the productivity hub, click in this little guy right here. It's going to give you a bunch of stuff and you're going to be like, well, what's, what's a whole lot going on? Maybe you haven't been in here. You haven't been playing around with this. The, which one of these do you choose? You want to choose the access business builder. Okay. Under the access business builder here, you will be able to go to the marketing tab under the marketing tab, go to marketing center. All right. And then right here at the top, it says monthly news letter. Now, I don't use 21 online this way. So there is a way somehow that you can integrate this and you can input your contacts and, and send it out this way. This isn't the format that I use. I use MailChimp. I like MailChimp. So, but the content is here. Now, all of these are already completed. Every single month, they create a new one. And you can personalize these to however it is that you want to use them. All right, so click personalize. If you choose one of the old ones, information's already there. You don't want that. So click personalize, all right? So when you click personalize, it's gonna show you what the monthly newsletter is. All right, now this month they're talking about essentials to spring lawn care. Again, all of this is provided to you. You don't have to use this, but every month they create a new one. And then it's got the other one, three signs, your crawl space needs additional or professional attention. Maybe that's not applicable here. And then your information, is going to be at the bottom of the screen here. Your picture should be there, your uh, website should be there, your email address, all your contact information, all of that is going to be right there available to you guys from Century 21. And just so you can get a little peek at what is, um, what else is out there, stop highlighting guys, go to maybe last month. So if all you gotta do is click on last month's and it'll show you what last month was. Every month they get you new content. So last month was top tips for working from home, which is a great one for what we're dealing with right now. And then mattress money and mortgages, that little tip right there. Now, this is a generic one that was created. You can copy and paste the content into like a Word doc if you want to. There's other ways that you can use past information, but this is just showing you what's there. Okay. Let me get out of this one for you. Close. All right, so what I would recommend is you just go on ahead as you're creating this month's newsletter, if we're gonna just use the one that's already here, what you can do to take this information here and pull it over to MailChimp is simple cut and paste. All right, so my computer doesn't wanna work for us today. Let's start here at the bottom. There it goes. So you can go ahead and just copy that like that, control C, and then come back to MailChimp. Which one of these tabs did I have it under MailChimp over here? So now I'm here in MailChimp, right? And I go to that box where um, the content can be put and I want to edit that box, all right? So then it's gonna open that box for me and I don't want this information in there. I wanna take that information out. Right, that's that's not what we're gonna be talking about here, right? We're gonna be actually doing my newsletter. So now all that you copy and paste it from there is now here. So you have a complete newsletter and all you did is copy and paste it, all right? And if you didn't want a portion of it there, where I've already, I've brought in the entire thing, you wanted to take out portions, 
you can take out portions, guys. All right. I mean, this thing is 100%, you know, ready to rock and roll. Anything that's there that you don't like, you can you can pull. All right. Just feel free to, to double click. That's it. We're done there. Hit the save and close button. Say, for instance, that you didn't want your information down there. Right? I mean, you, you would want that there, of course, but you could take that out. Let's say, for instance, that there was a property that you wanted to showcase, uh, for an example, that was in escrow. I right? say that because we've got one picture on my screen that we're going to use. And I wanted to say, you know what, here, let's go ahead and let's showcase that we're out here working, we're getting things done. I wanted to insert a picture, all right? Boom. Now, I just dropped that picture in there as well. So now I can showcase that this home right here, we just listed it. It's already in escrow. There you go, that right there. And then I can go over to the preview section and enter the, again the preview mode for MailChimp. All right, and you can see what it's looking like here on my mobile. This is not coming up like we wanted to. My desktop looks fine. All right, but my mobile is giving us some issues. So this is why it's critical for you guys to take a peek see as to what that looks like. You don't want to send it out and it not be mobile friendly all right this one right here we may need to do some reduction of the image size so if you reduce image size everything's at 100 shrink this image size here and then this one here save and close Go back to your preview, see if we were able to fix anything there. It did not, and I believe the reason why it's doing that is because of the content that we've actually chosen here, all right? It can be a little tricky sometimes when you bring in content and how it's grabbing it, because it's not, it's not, letting, it, um, it's not letting it show up on the mobile platform very well. So then we're gonna go back in here and then let's go in here and see if we can do some editing of this content here because you can see it's actually too big for our screen and everything it'll be a telltale for you if it's not working is if you've got to just scroll over like this everything should be fitting in the box so that you don't have to scroll back and forth like this this tells you that the content that is here is unfortunately not it's too wide for what's gonna be displayed on a mobile. And so there is ways for us to change that. Um, let me try the two columns. Nope, it's not gonna let us do it that way either. Back to the content here. Where's my little picture at? Scroll over. Because this is coming in as it was from oh, didn't want to do that. from the um, from 21 online, the parameters are too large. So what that just simply means is you can take this same content and you can copy and paste it into a Word doc, and then you can bring it in because it's bringing in more so as an image. And then it's not giving us the ability to change that. Now I'll share with you um, the differences that I use. I don't specifically use the Century 21 um, layout because the one my coach provides me one that I just dump in here. So you will have to work with this a little bit. Um, and again, I provide this one for you because this is this is free content for you. What you can do is, and I'll show you this right here. You might lose a picture or two, but you can add those later. What you can do is, is if you opened up, say, for instance, a, a Word doc. Open up one of these bad boys. Let me see if my content's still there. What did I have copied? It's not there. Let's jump back into 21 online. Market Builder is my guy. Pick it up like this right here. For whatever reason, it's only letting me copy from bottom to top, which is just fine. Let's grab the content that's here. All right, let's grab the content that you want to keep. All right. We're just going to do this right here. 
copy paste, open this back up, paste it in here. All right, now if you take it from here, I do believe it'll work for you guys. Picking it up from here, it may not show up as an image. The idea is to kind of keep you guys from having to, um, to type it all out. Hit the copy paste from there. Let's see if we can get it to dump in this way without you having to, to deal with this little guy the way that it is. All right, we're gonna pull this out. Delete everything there. Still too much. Still got a couple things we need to get out of there. This one's giving me a little bit of issue. So what we're gonna do is actually just delete it. Watch this. Delete it, and then you're just gonna drag a new one in. Okay, drag a new one in. Same thing here as your text box. Template goes here. So we haven't changed anything. All right, take out what was there. Let's paste what we brought from, uh, from Word. Okay, just give it a second. Oh, all right, so I want you to see the difference here. Okay, you see how what we've created now that we brought in from Word, it doesn't have that slider at the bottom. When you go to preview, we should be working now, fine. You go to mobile, now everything is there. Right. Well, where'd you go, guy? Hold on, we didn't hit, I'm sorry. We didn't hit save and close. All right, gotta hit save and close. Critical piece right there. <laughs> All right, uh, now it should be there. All right, and on our mobile device, everything is there now. This is again, the really cool part because you get to play with it prior to sending because you know it would have been terrible if we had copied and pasted that in there only to later find out, oh my goodness, like it looks terrible on somebody's uh, mobile device, right? So you definitely want to play around with the, the, uh, the preview tab there. And you can be like, well, you know, I really wanted that picture that was there. Well, that's fine. There's not a problem. We can easily add another image here for the picture that was there. And then we can go back to 21 online to that one picture, right? We can hit save image as, save it to your desktop, all right? Go back to your MailChimp. There it is, he'll go to upload an image. Go to upload. That picture is there under, we downloaded it, it should be under downloads. Uh, desktop, I should put it on the desktop. Where do you go? Not our picture. There it is. Desktop. There's our picture, right? And then just hit open. Okay. So you can still bring that picture in. And then all you have to do is just insert the picture, right? And you can have the picture there. Now, there's a lot of things that you can do. And you're like, well, I don't really like the way that looks, maybe. All right. We're just going to hit save and close for now. But there's also where you can do what's called an image card or image and text. So if you're having a little issues with the way that it's working out, you could do, you could get rid of this guy right here, right? You could close this one, delete it out, decide that, mm, I wanna do something a little bit different. I like the images that were there. Let me go ahead and do image and text, all right? So then all you're gonna do is just find a spot where you wanna drop it in. You're gonna drop in image and text, right? And then here you could add the image and then the text is gonna be right underneath it. All right, if you went back to um, where we were working with the Word doc, because there were two different um, topics that were covered, you know, the other image is still down here. You can get it from the other, you can get it from 21 online as well. Where'd it go? The other image, there it is. So all of the information is still right there. All you have to do is copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. That's the way that, that I do it here, all right? So we're gonna hit save and close on that one there. Save and close, there's nothing there. We're gonna actually pull that one out, delete that one there. 
All right. So some other cool things that I want to share with you in regards to MailChimp. Now, again, we've talked about some of the basics. These are drag and drop. So all you've got to do is put in, again, you want to start with your logo at the top, Century 21 Preferred. You can put anything in any of these other boxes. Like we went ahead and we, and we shrunk this up. We could actually blow that up big again because we got the little situation fixed there um, as to why that was not showing up right. Fix that up again. Everything that you typically, if it fits within these two lines right here within these boxes, is going to show up right on, the, uh, on the, uh, either the, the desktop or the mobile platform. Okay? So again, you've got, you can throw in images. You can throw in group images. You can do, again, what's called an image card. You can do an image and text. You can do box text. There's all different types that you can use here. Uh, something that I think is really cool, I like to use a lot of video. So maybe there's a video that you did for a listing and you really loved how it turned out and you wanna share that video, right? So what you'll do is you'll simply take the video box, right? And you'll grab the video and you'll drop them in here like this. All right, now what you wanna do is you wanna show that, you wanna showcase that video. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to YouTube. All right. And here in YouTube, we're gonna go into another account. Switch accounts. We're gonna to go to this guy. And we're gonna to go to um, uh, your channel. And we're gonna go down to, uh, let's just choose this one, why not, it's cool. We're gonna grab this video here. All right. America's second safest city is calling you and your Here's family. Pause. You wanna share this. So you're gonna to go to the share tab here and you're just gonna copy that little link. So when you copy that link, you're gonna close this. You're gonna go back into your MailChimp campaign, right? You're gonna go in here and the video URL, you're just going to paste it in there, right? And you're going to hit save and close. And you're going to give it a second, and then it's going to pop up, all right? Just like that. And it looks a little skewed right now. It should be fine once we go to the, uh, the preview tab. So what will happen is when you go to preview, you go to enter preview mode, and then when someone's scrolling down, they've got that little video. And then you know what? If you click it, your YouTube account refused to connect. That's always a first, whatever. What will typically happen, and we'll have to figure out why, and, and I've had this happen before, sometimes you'll just simply log out and log back in, and then it will work. I've had this happen in the past where my little video, for whatever reason, like it didn't work, or I'll even just delete the whole thing, and I'll say, I don't know why you're not working. That's fine. Delete. Again, my computer is running a tad bit slow the last couple of days here. So just bear with us as it figures itself out. Mercy. Let's try this again. And that's probably why it didn't work. It's just my computer is just running slow on you guys. Because what typically will take place when you don't have glitches like this is from that preview tab, you'll actually be able to click whatever it is you've put in there and then it'll take you to that website. So you can test it to see and ensure that it is indeed working. All right. This one here has decided it doesn't want to. Hit the refresh button real quick. Let's just see if we can get this thing to come together for us. All right, when it was sideways in it, that didn't look right to me in the first place. It should be straight. See, something's wrong. Um, it's having a little glitch, but let's see if we can get rid of it. There we go. Got it to go away. All right, so let's try that one more time just to see if we can, we can show you guys what it should look like and how it should operate, all right? And then you can put these things in here any way you want to. You can design these, stretch these. Uh, I shouldn't say stretch these, but you can put these in any way that you like. So let's go back to that YouTube uh, channel and that link was giving us a little bit of problem. So let's just choose another one. Uh, like I said, I've had it happen in the past where it didn't work. 
And then I just simply, like one time I think it was, I was trying to finish it one evening and it didn't work. So I just, I just left it, came back the next morning and then everything was working fine. Like I said, there's glitches with all software out there. So just be familiar with that. Don't get frustrated with it. Um, turn off your computer, restart. Sometimes they just get glitches, all right? So, okay. so we're gonna copy our tab here and we're gonna jump back into our MailChimp and then we're gonna post, uh, paste our URL here. All right. Hit save and close. See if it'll give it to us right this time. Even worse. Okay. This is what happens when you work live. <laughs> It's not pre-scripted, guys. So um, this, unfortunately, is, is uh, we're having a little bit of technical difficulties today because when I go to preview, it's probably not going to be there. You get the idea. Let's go to mobile real quick. Let's scroll down. See? Input caption text here. You see, this is where our video is supposed to be. But my computer has decided it's not gonna work for you guys today. So you do get the idea. You can input video here as well. And you can put in pictures, so whatever you want. And again, it's going to take them there. You just have to put in the URL that it's coming from. So we've got, from top to bottom, we've got your logo. You can put in a picture. You can put in a video. You can put in any, any content that you wanna put in right here as well. And then at the bottom, this is really cool because here, is where you get to allow people to connect with you. So on this tab here at the bottom, this is your social follow tab. You can have them at all, and again, if the information in here is correct, you just have to have the URL for whatever it is that you're using, and then it'll take you there. So, so that you guys can see it and so that it works, because this one here clearly is not gonna cooperate for us today. I am going to take you guys over to one that actually does work. Right. Sorry, my computer is running really, really slow right now. We're gonna go back here, save and close. I'm gonna jump out of this. We're gonna go to switch templates. I'm gonna take it to my save templates. Okay, that one there, it's giving us a headache. You get the idea of how all of that works. When I jump in here to, um, to a save template, you'll be able to see how all this comes together. All right? Boom. This is the template that I use month in and month out. All right? It's got Century 21, Team Bro, and that's all there. What on earth? Wow. All right, cool. So clearly... It's just merging stuff. This is fun. But don't worry, I'll show you what it actually looks like with all this in here. Take this guy out as well. Take that out as well. And take that out as well. But yes. Boom. So this is what our monthly newsletter looks like. All right. Well, we call it the real monthly, is what we've named it. And we've got our logos at the top. We've got our content here. So this is what ours look like that we use every single month. We've got new content. We actually provide uh, like a, 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 um, a podcast. So the podcast is really cool. That template there, you can dump that in. You can choose a little cool thing, uh, whatever podcast is that you're listening to. And then you've got the little tab here. Under this tab, all you need is the, uh, the web address for the podcast. You can get that on iTunes. You dump that in there and then people can listen to it. You see that we had this just listed. So we had that in there. I also used uh, one of the tabs as well where you can, here, save and close, so you can kind of see what it looks like, the group image tab, where we went ahead and we created, I do a monthly um, market update for what's taking place locally in our market. So that's there as well. We also do a monthly um, tip for the home buyer and seller that I put in there. We're talking about Zoom meetings there. We're talking about going virtual 3D tours on that one there for our, our sellers. And then, uh, of course, there's ways for people to contact us. But what I wanted to come down to and share with you all, let's get that out of there, that's not supposed to be there. 
The only one that's here is I wanted to share with you all again this portion here where you can have people connect with you on your different platforms. All right. And what that what I want to show you that is because when you go to the preview tab, and you hit the enter tab, the preview mode here. Sorry, everything worked for you guys. You'll see what it looks like on their screen. Everything's right there, simple, clean, easy to read. And then of course, these little guys at the bottom. This is what I wanted to share with you. If someone's in your, your newsletter and they want to connect with you in another way, Instagram, Facebook, email, Twitter, this is our, our website, it's our YouTube channel. All they have to do is click it. Clicking it, you'll be able to see that that tab actually works and it's gonna take them to your Facebook page. It's gonna take them to your Instagram page. All of that is connected and integrated and it just, it's all you have to do is put the URL that goes in there for them to be able to do that, all right? I mean, the system is great for you to just bring everything together right there in your monthly newsletter so that your clients, your sphere of influence can connect with you. So you're able to see that again, it does indeed work, and that's any of those tabs that you saw here. You know, the Twitter tab, uh, the, the Instagram tab. I've actually just recently changed my Instagram tab. So I actually need to go in and change that one there. Your Twitter tab, if you see that one right there, the Twitter tab is gonna come up. There's gonna be, everything is the same. We actually created new banners here. If you want something like this, I would tell you to talk to marketing because all of our websites minus our YouTube, which is getting fixed now, all our banners are the same, all our pictures are the same. Everything is seamless. Everything is, uh, is, uh, looks the same. So no matter what platform someone goes to and they're seeing uh, what, you, what, you're, what you're doing for your business. It all is integrated there. So this is something that, again, I highly encourage you to go ahead and, and get updated as well when you put all of this into it. And again, it's right here at the bottom of your, your newsletter under the social follow tab. And this is already here. You don't have to put it in. You're going to put in who you're going to choose. You've got Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, uh, YouTube, Pinterest, Google+. Everything is in here. All you've got to do is simply go to work and drop in the URL for whatever it is um, that you're using. All right. So just keep, uh, keep that thought in mind. Boom. Once you're all done, once you have created your, your newsletter, however the content is that you want to use, what you're going to do is you hit the, the continue button. All right. And then that'll bring you back here. To where we were talking about what you were going to what you're going to send out all right you'll go to your ad recipients tab here that i talked about with you earlier before we didn't have it again i switched back to my account that i actually use so there's actually some people in here you'll choose your audience and so maybe you'll choose your team broden realty you have this personalized tab right here and you'll click that and you select so, uh this one here just to understand first name last name first name and last name or custom i typically choose first name so it'll be a greeting to them in the uh, in the email Hey, John, you know, just wanted to just send you, it'll greet them by their first name as they're saved in your database, all right? Boom. Once that's done, you have your, uh, your, um, your newsletter ready to go. So you've got who you're sending it to. It's coming from your email address. So this, of course, will be different. Uh, it'll be coming from my Team Bro email. That's why I contact everybody. Your subject is going to be there. And then the content that you created is right there as well. If you want to edit this or do any changes to this, you can still do that under the edit design portion. And then you hit the send button. When you hit the send button, it is going out. I highly encourage you always send it to yourself. Send yourself a test email and you can do that as well. If we go back into edit design, so you can see what it looks like before it goes out. She's like, wait a minute. I don't want to like send something that, that's not going to be good, right? That my clients aren't going to be able to uh, be able to use, going to look good, whatever the case may be. Under preview, you have the option to send a test email. So you can click that there and then choose who you're going to send that test email to. So just simply type in your email address and then you'll send a test email. And then you'll be able to see what it's going to look like when it comes into your phone, when it shows up on your desktop, what the end user, your consumer, your clients are going to be getting, all right? So that pretty much covers the basics for MailChimp. We've shown you today how to set up a MailChimp account. You want to make sure that you get the free version. You've got 2,000 contacts you should put in there. That should be plenty to get you started at least. You can send 10,000 emails with that free one. We've shown you how to 
uh, create content for a newsletter. We've shown you where you can get that content from 21 Online Monthly. There's a new, email, uh, new uh, newsletter that goes out, so you're able to utilize and use that as well, so you don't have to create on your own. I've shown you some tips as well of how you can embed videos into it. You can embed um, podcasts into it, images that you can put into it as well. I do a monthly a market update. I highly encourage you to do a, do a pick a city or, or, or several cities that you want to update your clients of what's taking place in their local market. Put that in there as well. Of course, going over again your different social platforms and email and website at the bottom there so they can connect with you as well there so all of that again i have been using this since the beginning of 2019 i've literally had people contact me from my newsletters on properties that i've listed wanting more information so it's a great way to you to connect um with your sphere of influence with your clients at this time when you're not able to go out and do a face-to-face a -face, do a coffee or a lunch and so forth you can connect with so many more people all that once you create the template which we've done here all i do is every single month when i come in here there's not a whole lot of changes that I have to make. The most work was right up front. And Anthony Camus, he actually hired a, a high, school, uh, high school kid. She came in, and in like 20 minutes, she had made him a template, all right? Because they love to get their hands on stuff like this. So maybe you've got a young person who wants to get their hands uh, dirty and, and play around with this a little bit. Say, hey, guys, come on over. I'll pay you 20 bucks, you know, an hour, whatever it is. Maybe it takes them, you know, an hour to do it or a half an hour for them to create a template for you. You've already created the account. They can go in and get that done. All I do is when I come in here monthly is I change it from whatever month it is. This is April, so May's is going to come out. Um, I've got new content here under this box. I just copy and paste the new content from my coach. I copy and paste the new image that goes here. I don't make any of that anymore because my coach provides that for me. And then I come down here. I put in a new podcast, whatever that podcast may be. I add a couple little new notes. I add the new URL for where it's supposed to be for that. Sometimes in here, I'll have a picture. Sometimes I'll have a video about a property. Sometimes I'll have something inspirational from YouTube. Just depends on what I want to put in this next box right here. And then, of course, always, always, always in my, uh, my monthly newsletter, I've got market updates of what's taking place in our local market so that people can see I've got those four cities that I've chosen. Every single month, I give a buyer tip and a seller tip of the month. All right, then at the bottom, of course, if they don't see their information, there's a way for them to contact me. If they click that tab, it'll take them and they can send an email to me. If they want uh, to contact me, if they have a contractor, handyman, whatever the case may be, they click that tab, they can call me. And then, of course, right here at the bottom are all of the ways to connect with me on the social media platforms as well. They click those, ready to rock and roll. I hit send every single month. There's not a whole lot of much that, that I do to it now as far as thinking, like, what's the content going to be? Because the content's provided, most of it takes me maybe an hour or two a month to be able to send this out. My sphere gets it. And so you're staying top of mind when you've got something like this, you know, in place. Are there any questions, anything that we've covered in regards to the, um, the MailChimp uh, software that's available to you guys free of charge? We'll go ahead and jump off of this share screen. If there are no questions, then I am just going to go ahead and tell you guys, I hope you have a great rest of your week. Any questions in regards to, to MailChimp, I'll try to answer them as best that I can. Also, again, there's some wonderful tutorials. That's how I learned. I jumped on YouTube, looked at those tutorials that were there, and then that helped me to, to be able to, uh, to know how to use the platform. Didn't know anything about it. It's a great tool, a great resource. You should be sending something to your sphere of influence, uh, your past clients every single month to stay top of mind. This is a great way to do that and providing quality content. Again, that's already there from 21 online. All you have to do is just copy really and paste it in and you're on your way. All right. Thanks again so much for joining us in our training today, everyone. Have a blessed rest of your week and we will see you next week.